Hey guys, what's up? This is All About Mac 27, and today I'm going to be talking about the new software in the iPad that allows you to dictate to the iPad. So it's called Dictation, and it's in place of Siri. I'm going to give an example of the software, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So here is a section of the Steve Jobs biography. In the early summer of 2004, I got a phone call from Steve Jobs, period. He had been scattershot friendly to me over the years, comma, with occasional bursts of intensity, comma, especially when he was launching a new product that he wanted on the cover of Time or featured on CNN, comma, places where I'd worked, period. So now it is thinking. It has already deciphered what I have said and written it out. So it is almost good. Uh, there's one mistake I see. I said he had been scattershot, but it wrote out given scattershot. So, you know, it's not 100% perfect, but uh, I've tried it out a couple times, and for the most part, it gets it from 95 to 100%. So the reason why they didn't include Siri in the iPad third generation is unknown, but it definitely has the horsepower to run Siri. And so I think in a software update, they will definitely include it uh, because that is you know, has to be a huge marketing deal for them and not including it may be a turnoff for some people. So if you have any questions about the dictation software in the new iPad, comment below. I respond to all the questions I get asked. Please subscribe, like, and you know what to do. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.